the heart of the black country, Thorns Community College has taken on an ambitiously high number of HLTAs throughout the school. How far is it going to travel in 25 minutes at the same speed? Right. Liam and Anita are two HLTAs in the current cohort deployed in each faculty. We've brought in HLTAs so that we can put them into each faculty here, which means that their day that they use is specific to a subject, which means that we get very high quality. What did you do to work out how many pages there were? Liam's our HLTA for mathematics. So he would support within mathematics. He'll also take out small groups of students who need tuition in different areas. I've worked here for just over a year, um, taking on responsibility for small groups, uh, some individuals and whole classes. Liam came here with no prior experience of working in schools, although perhaps it's always been in his blood. Right, can we have you uh, come in and sit down as you would normally, please? Um, can I My parents are well? both teachers. Um, I kind of been brought up in that environment, it was kind of always something that was on my mind as something to go into. Of course, I chose at university, uh, I didn't really enjoy, so I've, uh, I left, kind of worked in retail for a year, um, and then a job that was advertised, um, which didn't need a degree level qualification, but was kind of a, an insight into teaching, and so I was offered the job to start last September. Now a trained HLTA, Liam is about to lead a top set year nine class in ratios and inverse proportions. Someone put your hand up and tell me, what's the ratio of boys to girls in this classroom? 12 to 7. 12 to 7, right, well done. The HLTA course taught me a lot in that um, the school actually provided a training, kind of a training programme where every Friday afternoon uh, you'd spend an hour doing um, different styles of teaching, classroom management, um, generally because as a group of HLTAs they're either teaching assistants or there was just myself who came in from um, having no experience at all. On the other side of school, a smaller class is scheduled for an extraction lesson with Anita. Can take a seat. Yeah. Anita coordinates our special needs department. Now that can mean that she's looking after the TAs and putting them into different roles each day. She looks at what um, special needs individuals have got and allocates them on that basis. Right, today we're going to do about time, OK? okay. We're going to carry on with this. What do you think of when I say time to you? Put your hand up. Miles. Uh, hours, minutes. I started as a learning support practitioner and worked here for a while. Then I sort of did some small group work and then I went to get my HLTA status. My job has changed a lot since I got the HLTA status. Um, I work now more with other members of the team. Um, I've perhaps got more confidence with going to teachers and talking to the teachers about the difficulties the students have. And I think they have more com I think teachers have confidence in you as well because they know what you've gone through to get the HLTA status. You know, it, it sort of it works both ways. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to actually make our own clock so that then when we come to do the puzzles that we've got to do afterwards, <coughs> the problems solving, we can use our own clock. You can use it in this lesson and you can use it in future lessons. Okay. We do the lessons once or twice a week, um, but we will vary it. Sometimes it will be math, sometimes it will be English, depending on how they've got on and um, in the lesson, that, you know, to, whether we think they've understood it or not. So I think they learn from it. They actually look forward to coming out. Right, so phase 27, so pop on the board for you. It's exercise 2D. For individual students, it's another member of staff who isn't there in the same capacity, they're not a teacher. As a HLTA, you have a little bit more time um, because you don't have to plan for kind of 20, 25 lessons in a, foot in, in a week. What's the easiest way of going from 20 to 25? Um, Thinking about your times tables. As a HLTA, I can be moved around from different groups. Um, if a member of staff, I feel like I need to take the whole session, or if it's a member of supply staff who's in to take it, going to support the session, um, because generally speaking, the students will have kind of more respect for the environment in the classroom if there's a member of staff they know over a period of time. Not particularly. No, I think that one is one. That's a normal question, was it? Did I get 21? Yeah. Right, which one's 21? Some of the symptoms. I'm going to give you one of these, and it's still doing the same thing, and you can use the clock to help you if you need to. Okay. Mrs. Gorton was in the session as well. Um, she's an LSP, and she usually is supporting 
one of the students one to one um, because he has difficulties with his reading and his writing. So she's there to help and to support a particular student at that time. We do a lot of collaboration, a lot of talking to each other about what is working because she's with the students every day in every lesson. We've taken this very seriously and we've put into place a very comprehensive training programme for them in the first year and I think that's partly why they're so successful here that we have trained them um, and we've met their needs and therefore they've been able to meet ours. It's been a very successful project here to put HLTAs in and it was a bit um, brave of us I think to go for so many HLTAs all at one go but it's been very successful. OK. And it took us an hour to get there, one hour. So what time did we get to the seaside? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, well done. At HRTA was an interesting experience. Um, I learned a lot, uh, learned a lot about myself. Um, I think if I'd have gone into teaching, having left university, I don't think I'd have been ready for it. Um, I think I'd have probably dropped myself into something that I don't know whether I'd have been committed to, but having had the experience and what I've learned from it, um, I think ultimately I probably will at some point go into teaching, um, but I think I might spend some time doing this. But I think uh, teaching is definitely still one of the, uh, at the top of my list of potential permanent careers when I finally settle down to one. I would recommend HLTA to teaching assistants. It's actually a progression in your job career as well and it can open doors to other things. You've worked really hard today, okay, but it is time now to go to your next lesson. It gives you the confidence as well. I think you do a better job because you understand more about the, the standards that teachers are trying to get to as well.